Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Pastor Tosh here for your message and a prayer on this wonderful Saturday evening. Um, hope you guys had a good week, and uh, let's close this week out with a nice message about priorities and a prayer, and then we'll start the week again tomorrow morning with some church at 10 a.m. right here on uh, Facebook. So, priorities. Man, it can be hard sometimes to prioritize the to-do list that we have. Typically what I find in my life is when the to-do list starts to get overwhelming or seems impossible to get done, no matter how hard I work or how much time I put into it, it means that I prioritize the list wrong. And it means that uh, the worldly and Tosh stuff is on top and the God stuff is probably on bottom. And what I find is when I can stop and realize that or I can start with God in, for, in the forefront of my mind to begin with, when my to-do list, it could be the same exact number of things on there, but when the God stuff is up top and the worldly and the Tosh stuff is towards the bottom, I miraculously have time and energy. That's another thing, right? Sometimes we make the time we don't have the energy. I miraculously have time and energy to get everything done on the list simply because of prioritizing and that's an example to me not just my to-do list when I'm writing down the things I need to do but just how I live my life how do we prioritize our life do we truly have God at the top of that list all the time of how we live and then allow our life to fall into place because our priority is right because that's how my to-do list everything falls into place if I prioritize the to-do list correctly. Um, when I am misprioritized in my life, what it feels like to me in my living is that I'm walking through knee-high mud, meaning I'm getting nowhere real fast. <laughs> and so if you're feeling that to if you're feeling that in your life that you're getting nowhere real fast, maybe it's time to take a look at how are you prioritizing your life. In Matthew 6:33. Um, Jesus is talking to a whole bunch of people on a mountain, if you've ever heard about the Sermon on the Mount. And in this particular time, when we go to 633, he's talking about worry. And it's about, you know, does the birds of the air worry about what they're going to wear? Do they worry about what they're going to eat? Do they worry about this? Do they worry about that? And he says this, Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. And so what Jesus is saying is don't worry about all that stuff. If you put me first, everything's going to fall into place and you're going to be provided for for all those things that you think that you need to worry about or you think you need to have at the top of your list. So when we first seek the kingdom of God and we prioritize our life to reflect that that's what we're seeking first, all that stuff is going to fall into place and you'll get a lot lighter and you're, you'll You'll not imagine mud around your feet every time you're walking. Uh, to back that up too, before Jesus came and did that Sermon on the Mount and said that, God handed Moses Ten Commandments, and the very first commandment on there is, You shall have no other gods before me. And Jesus also reiterates when they're asked, What are the, what's, what commandments should I follow if I follow any? And it was, Love your God before any other. So it's a redundant thing from the beginning of this book to the end of this book is that we are to prioritize God first and then life will fall into place. Not saying that life will be easy all the time, but it's saying that when your priorities are right and God is for, for, foremost, forefront, forefront of your head, of your mind, um, life will be a little bit easier and even in those hard times you'll have comfort knowing that God is there and to demonstrate the end of this book in Revelations um, they're talking about when when Jesus comes back the second time and they're talking uh, about when that happens this is what uh, Revelations 11 15 says sorry I lost my place for a second the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign forever and ever. Man, that's the kingdom we're working for, right? Because we are in this in this battlefield, what is world right now, and we're trying to get to the end. And so when you 
are prioritizing your life. Think about where your heart is. Think about how your soul is. What's your soul health? What's your spiritual health? Your spiritual health should be a priority in your life. And when your spiritual health is a priority in your life, that's when you're spending time with God. That's when you're you're putting that to-do list in order of putting God first and then the worldly stuff and filling your name, the Tosh stuff, at the bottom. And then you'll get all that that stuff. But first, seek God's kingdom. I just cannot stress that enough to seek God's kingdom first. And peace and prosperity will come to you. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for bringing us here tonight, God. We thank you that you love us so much that you repetitively tell us in this good book to seek you first and that you are there for us and that you love us, God, and that you want the best for us, God. And for us to get the best, God, we've got to put you first, God. So help us do that, God. Help us to have red flags in our life so that when we feel like going through mud, that's a red flag and we can turn back to you, God, and put you first, God. God, thank you for all that you do for us. God, we continue to pray for all those things that are on our heart, Lord, that are happening within the world, Lord, that your peace and your calm can come down upon this world, Lord, that every heart can turn to you, God. I cannot wait for that day for every heart to turn to you, God. And in the meantime, help this Facebook platform and others doing similar things, God, to touch those people's hearts that aren't turned to you yet, God help their hearts become softened so that they can see who you are, God, that your light may shine through those lives that are still struggling or don't recognize you yet in their life, God, for your salvation to fall upon them, God. In your precious name we pray, amen. All right, everybody, thank you very much for joining us here tonight. Um, I pray that you have a very good week and that your priorities are aligned with the kingdom being first. Have a good night. Oh, yes. There's a small game tonight. Let's go Bolts. Be the Thunder.